concert band is different than jazz band because in concert band, we have a sheet of music in front of us and you need to play exactly as it's written. The note, the articulation, the tone quality, it's all got to be just so, but in jazz, it's a little bit different. It's more about the emotion that you put into it and uh, the creativity that you bring to it, especially when you're improvising. Jazz has always been very interesting to me because it's just so different from classical music and I'm you know, classically trained, so it was like very different to step in from playing you know, classical songs to playing Miles Davis or John Coltrane or something. The concert that we had, the kids totally composed the piece themselves. They put their own groups together, they got their own inspiration, they put the pieces together. It was totally student-led. That can be a little bit scary uh, on a teacher's end just because you're not quite sure what you're going to end up with. But these kids really came together. Regardless of experience level, they were helping each other out. There was teamwork, collaboration, uh, all for the sake of making good music and having fun together. So it was really fun to see the kids especially get to know each other. It allowed us to reach out to our other peers and compose something with people that we probably have never met before. I thought it was a good assignment. I thought it was very good. Overall, it's a really inclusive class. And Mr. Vanderlander is a great teacher. In the jazz band, there's like a huge variety of skill levels and experience, and we were really lucky with the instrumentation because the group we had had every necessary instrument to play. And so we ended up just gathering like in the orchestra room, and then we're like, all right, what do we want to play? Someone says funk, so we play funk. It was a very natural process. really different because we've never really been asked to compose our own piece um, so it was it was sort of scary but um, it was really fun because we got to sort of go with our own flow so um, it was scary but it was also exciting at the same time. Out of the groups that performed we had an entire variety of music. We had bossa nova, we had swing, there was funk, there was jazz fusion, there was a ballad. And so from a programmatic standpoint, all I had to do was just list them in the order and announce the band and they, they just took care of it. And that was so exciting. I think it's really interesting because um, to think about jazz, you have to think about it as sort of a feeling and less than like a musical genre because it's the same with like punk and blues. It's both a, a feeling and also a musical genre. The year's goal is really just to make as much music as we can and perform as much as we can. You know, with COVID last year, a lot of performances were canceled. And so we're able this year to perform a little bit more. Obviously, we still have guidelines that we are following closely, um, but there's a lot more opportunities for us to perform. So with that said, we want to be having a performance about every nine weeks. I think if you are going to join jazz band, just make sure to think outside the box, open your mind, um, and don't be afraid to take chances or do anything different. I'm so glad it exists, and it's really great to have a class where it's about expression and not getting a good grade. 